For the Council, I'm Anna Dulosky, and this is part three of our Mystery Mind series. And ladies, this one's for you. Ever wonder how the men in our lives tend to tune out different sounds, like the baby crying in the middle of the night, or the honey-do list you shouted off on your way out the door? Yes, they have something called selective hearing, and they use it frequently. But ladies, turns out we have it too. In fact, we're all wired the same to focus our auditory attention on one single thing at a time and tune out everything else. This is also known as the cocktail party effect. You're in a noisy room with many people, there's music, conversation, and yet you can tune into a single voice and tune out all of the others. To understand how selective hearing works, researchers from the University of California used high-resolution brain recordings. Participants of this study were asked to listen to speech samples played to them simultaneously by different speakers. Then they were asked to identify the words they heard spoken by one of the speakers. What they found is that neural responses in the auditory cortex only reflected those of the targeted speaker. And based on those patterns, they could predict which speakers and even which words the subject was listening to. This is all pretty remarkable because it says quite a bit about how our brains are wired. Researchers say that selective hearing is part of our survival skills. With so much visual and auditory information thrown at us at any given time, we couldn't survive unless we could focus intensely on one single thing at a time. Oh, I'm sorry, what were we talking about? See, this brings into question the skill of multitasking. Can we really do it, or is it a myth? I, for one, can't. A study from the University of Utah found that people who think they can multitask effectively are actually pretty bad at it. The study authors concluded that people who engage in multitasking do so not because they have the ability, but because they are less able to block out the distractions, meaning that those who multitask probably shouldn't, which is also why talking on your cell phone while driving is called distracted driving. For more stories like this, and if you missed part one and part two of our Mystery Mind series, head to our website, acsh.org, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as always, Always subscribe to your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For the Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.